every year on her birthday, Smurfette had terrible nightmares about Gargamel, the evil wizard who created her. And unfortunately, this year was no different. And every year, I remind you, it doesn't matter where you came from. What matters is who you choose to be. Papa Smurf tried to reassure her. Go out there and see for yourself. This is where you belong. The other Smurfs pretended they didn't know it was Smurfette's birthday because they didn't want to ruin the big surprise party they were planning for her. Confused, a teary-eyed Smurfette wandered into the woods alone. She thought maybe she didn't belong with the Smurfs after all. Meanwhile, Gargamel entertained adoring crowds in Paris as a world-famous illusionist. He used Smurf Essence to perform magic tricks that included his wicked cat, Azrael. But he had much bigger plans. Tonight, after we capture that wretched Smurfette, we shall have all of the essence we ever could have dreamed of. <laughs> he cackled. Gargamel created two pale, mischievous, Smurf-sized creatures and called them the Naughties. Their names were Vexy and Hackus. Gargamel instructed Vexy to go through a magic portal to Smurf Village and kidnap Smurfette. He wanted Smurfette to reveal Papa Smurf's secret formula for turning a Smurf blue. Then he could turn his naughties into real Smurfs and extract their essence too. Deep in the woods, Smurfette heard a voice. Wizard, who made me? Vexy cried, but Vexy was pretending it was a trap. The Smurfs rushed to help, but were too late. Vexy forced Smurfette through the portal to Paris, where Gargamel eagerly awaited them. Smurfette pleaded to be let go, asking Gargamel what he wanted. Just the secret formula that Papa used to turn you into a real Smurf. Gargamel sneered. Smurfette was frightened, but refused to give in to the wicked sorcerer's demands. Back in Smurf's village, Papa Smurf chose Gutsy, Hefty, and Brainy to join in Smurfette's rescue mission. Unfortunately, Clumsy bumped into Papa, knocking the magic crystals into his mouth, as well as the open mouths of Vanity and Grouchy. Poof! They disappeared in a brilliant flash of blue. Well, sometimes you gotta smurf with the changes, Papa said, as he swallowed the last crystal and vanished. In New York, Patrick and Grace Winslow were celebrating their son's birthday with Patrick's stepfather, Victor. Suddenly, the smurfs rocketed into their apartment on little blue sparkling comets. What are you guys doing here? Patrick asked. Smurfette's been taken, Clumsy replied. Yes, a rescue mission, Victor asked, intrigued. Determined to rescue Smurfette, the Smurfs and the Winslows, along with Victor, flew to Paris together. While Patrick and Victor went with the Smurfs to the Paris Opera House, Grace snooped around the hotel, looking for Gargamel's room. Meanwhile, Gargamel cut a patch of Smurfette's hair, intending to steal her essence. Without more, he would soon lose his magical powers. Smurfette told Gargamel that he'd be sorry when Papa Smurf finally got his hands on him. Your Papa is not coming because your real Papa is already here. Gargamel cackled cruelly. At the magic show, the Smurfs snuck backstage while Patrick and Victor confronted Gargamel. You! Magic man! Hand over the Smurfette! Victor shouted. Gargamel recognized Patrick as a friend of the Smurfs and fired his wand. Duck! Patrick yelled at Victor, but he was too late. The magical beam hit him squarely in the chest, turning him into an actual duck. Backstage, Smurfette escaped from the Naughties, leaping through an air vent. Oh no! Get her! Vexy shouted. Moments later, the Smurfs dropped through an open window into Gargamel's dressing room. But hearing the footsteps of the evil wizard, they frantically ducked into a secret passage they spotted just in time. 
the Smurfs followed a hidden path to Gargamel's secret lair, where there was a huge, scary machine. Is that a giant Smurf leader? A worried Clumsy asked. As they continued exploring, the Smurfs stumbled across Gargamel's plan to control the world and destroy Smurf Village. He was going to use the Smurfalator to extract essence from captured Smurfs. Patrick and Victor met the Smurfs outside. Gargamel is hatching a terrible, terrible plan, Papa Smurf warned. Focus, everyone. We've got to find Smurfette quickly. What's with the duck? Grouchy asked. That's Victor. Gargamel turned him into a duck. Now Gargamel knows we're on to him. Patrick explained. Searching frantically on the streets of Paris, the naughties eventually caught up with Smurfette. Vexy tried to befriend her, while Hackus snuck into a nearby candy shop, swung on licorice sticks, and spat gumballs as the shop owner chased him. Smurfette dashed inside and jumped on a jelly donut, spraying the shop owner in the eyes. See? You're just like us! Vexy said as they ran away. Smurfette was starting to wonder if that were true. A moment later, Smurfette and the Naughties spied three storks near a fountain. They jumped on the birds' backs and took off, flying high into the sky. This is so beautiful! Vexy marveled. They soared through the air and swooped down through the famous sights of Paris, like the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Meanwhile, Patrick, Victor the Duck, and the Smurfs continued to search for Smurfette at the hotel. Patrick pretended to be Gargamel and ordered room service in order to gain access to his hotel room. The hotel chef mistook Victor for dinner and scooped him up. What are you doing? Put me down! Can you just put me back down, Patrick? Victor quacked. The Smurfs hid inside a room service cart while Patrick rescued Victor from the kitchen. When the Smurfs arrived in Gargamel's room, they were surprised to see Azrael. He pounced, trapping the Smurfs on the balcony outside. Suddenly, Smurfette and the Naughties arrived on the storks, knocking Azrael back inside. Smurfette didn't realize the Smurfs were nearby. That was awesome! Vexy cheered. Smurfette hugged a shocked Vexy, who realized that she had never been hugged before. Trying a new tactic to get the formula, Gargamel returned with cake and a birthday present. Yes, yes, my dear. Go ahead, take it. It's a tiny little magical wand of your very own. Gargamel said. Smurfette was touched that Gargamel remembered her birthday, while her friends in Smurf Village seemed to have forgotten it. An excited Smurfette accidentally fired the wand at a mirror. The magic beam ricocheted outside knocking the Smurfs off the balcony. Luckily, they landed safely below in a soft laundry basket. But Patrick consoled him. Gargamel just made her, but you, you made her what she is. Filled with new resolve, Papa rallied the Smurfs. All right, Smurfs, let's get Smurfin', he said. Gargamel took Smurfette and the Naughties to his underground lair deep in the Paris sewers. He pretended to be caring, but when Smurfette still refused to reveal the formula, Gargamel became enraged. At just that moment, the Smurfs swung down on shoestrings they'd found to a ledge above the lair. Oh, there she is! Is that a birthday cake? Vanity said when he saw Smurfette. The Naughties were growing weak because they needed essence to survive. But Gargamel refused to give them any until Smurfette told him the formula. So busy. Pacus sobbed. Desperate to help the naughties, Smurfette had no choice but to reveal the secret formula. Gargamel gave a drop to Vexy and Hackus. Sure enough, it worked, and they turned into blue Smurfs, just like Smurfette and the rest of the Smurfs. It worked all the world is mine! Oh, I can make my own Smurfs! Oh. Gargamel bellowed. He strapped Smurfette, Vexy, and Hackus to the Smurfalator. The other Smurfs cut the building's electricity just in the nick of time. Furious that his plan had been foiled, Gargamel climbed to the roof to harness the power for the Smurfalator from a lightning storm. 
The Smurfs quickly unstrapped Smurfette and the Naughties. Smurfette tearfully confessed to Papa that she had given Gargamel the secret formula. But she saved our lives. Vexy said, Ah, Smurfette, life is the most precious thing to protect. I'm very proud of you. Papa told Smurfette. Suddenly, Gargamel returned, surprising the Smurfs. The wizard strapped them all to the Smurfalator. When out of nowhere, Patrick and Victor appeared. Gargamel spelled... bid a fond farewell to the Winslows and Victor, and happily returned to Smurf's village. There, Smurfette introduced Vexy and Hackus as the newest members of the Smurfs family. And the Smurfs finally revealed their surprise. Happy birthday, Smurfette! The Smurfs cheered as they started her celebration. She smiled. Smurfette knew exactly where she belonged.